hello guys welcome back to the channel and i got request like you guys are facing the issue on the task number three so here is the simplest way to complete this lab okay so first of all just log in with your credentials and first of all just search for the iam and search for the big query okay just open this thing in new tab now in the iam section here at last you can see your student id just simply click on uh, pencil icon just wait for a second then click on add another role and here just add the data flow admin okay just do this thing first of all now go to your big query click on this three dot then click on create data set and for the data set id just simply come on the task number two and copy the name for the data set from here okay just copy this name paste over here like this then choose the region and from here just choose us central one now simply click on create data set now if you just click on this you can see this is your database now click on this three dot then click on this create table and for the table name just type movies and o v i e s like this and then click let me just zoom in for you and now click on this plus icon now in the field name just type id then again click on field name now here type s o u r c source underscore data okay now in last just type timestamp okay now for the timestamp field just choose the timestamp called timestamp like this now your schema must be look like this and your table must be look like this okay just cross verify this thing now simply click on create so you are done with this thing now simply search for the data flow open this thing in new tab and simply come on the task number three and if you want just simply click on check my progress for task number two you will get without any issue now in the task number three just copy this name come over here and click on this create job paste the name over here now for the data flow template scroll down copy this thing do not copy any extra space please make sure of that thing just paste over here and click on this the second option now just wait for a second and you will get the number of parameters field now for the mongodb connection url i will be share this url in the description box so just copy this thing properly from mongodb to majority like this just copy this thing properly and paste over here no need to make any other changes now for the mongodb or mongo database we have to use the database we already created so if you just scroll down just copy this thing and paste over here for the mongo collection just copy uh, this name called movies and paste over here now here you guys are facing the issue okay so now what we have to do just copy this thing okay paste over here now just copy your project id okay now let me just zoom in for you now copy and make the changes from just replace your project id with this project id okay like this remove that and just add your project id and here you can see i got a green tick this is my project id then full stop then sample underscore mflix dot movies okay now for the user option type i know any none and before uh, click on this run job uh, run job option make sure you have add the data flow admin job role over here okay now just simply click on run and now this is going to take around five to six minutes now come on here click on this editor option then simply come on the task number four just copy this b query just copy that query paste over here and then copy your project id and please make the changes properly just choose this project id and remove the content then paste your project id then copy from here to here select from there and paste if you can see you get a green tick if you getting uh, any red banner that's when you have uh, making the any wrong changes over here now simply click on run then click on this plus icon scroll down copy the last query of the task number four and paste over here here we have to make the changes of the project id again copy your project id and make the changes over here like this 
and once you're done with that you can see the green tick it's mean the query is properly configured it will take a uh, couple of second and do not worry about this error okay now just simply come over here and click on check my progress if you uh, if you didn't get a uh, green tick on first attempt do not worry about that just click on check my progress for a couple of times on the task number four now we have to just wait for the five to six minutes not 10 minutes just five to six minutes we have to wait and after that we are done with the task number three also just come over here and check is this task is working or not so it's still in queue after a couple of minutes it will be in uh, running state and after six minutes it will be properly succeed so just kindly wait
so as you can see for me it's took around 6 minute and 25 second okay now just simply come over here and click on check my progress we will get a score without any issue okay so that's the way we have to complete this lab if this lab and this step is working for you and is this lab helpful for you please comment down below is, the, uh, is this helpful for you or not so that uh, it will understand and help me to, to understand that uh, this is working and these steps are working or not so thanks for watching the video if you still have any doubts please let me know in the comment section guys have a good day